nine things that changed my mental health completely in the last two to two and a half years. And this is what I wanted to talk to you all about today. Welcome back. I am Pujita Singh. The first one that I wanted to talk about in terms of improving the mental health is start your day with gratitude and end your day with gratitude. Three things say to yourself as to what you are thankful for when you woke up. And when you end your day or wrap up your day, be thankful to those three things minimum that you're thankful for in the whole day. Right? Be as specific as possible. And eventually increase the list by, you know, um, from three to nine to, to 11. I think you can start off eventually like that. And maybe once in a month or once in a quarter, maybe you can write 100 things that you're grateful for. Trust me, your life will change completely because you will start focusing on only what is expanding in your life, which is for your good. You will shift your focus from completely from what is not going well in your life to what is going better. And even if there are things which are not going well with you, you will start focusing only on what is going better. Even in the problem situations, you will only focus on the good part of it. That's the beauty of gratitude. Practice this and you will find enough and more information as to how scientifically this helps you in improving your mental health and so does your physical body, right? That's number one. Number two, whenever you're going through anything in life, which is, which is not a great situation or a great day, one of those days, start writing everything on a piece of a paper or a book or a diary that you maintain. Put everything with emotions, frustration, anger, sadness, everything, put it on the piece of paper as detailed as possible. Just vent it out. Whatever language you are comfortable, just put it down and you will start seeing the change when you are done writing, you get rid of the paper, burn it, thrash it, do whatever it takes, tear it, then you will eventually start feeling light. I'll tell you why this is important. You will not carry the baggage within you. That's number one. Number two, you don't need anybody to share this with somebody if it's very personal to you or you're not somebody who speaks everything to um, anybody in part of your life, right? And what will happen eventually is your mental health starts getting better because you're getting rid of what is not serving you on that particular day itself. You're ending your day on a clean slate. That's number two, right? Try doing this. I know some of them do it because they have seen that in one of those Bollywood movies and all, but practically just try journaling whenever you're going through something bad and just get rid of it, tear it, thrash it, smash it, get rid of it then and there. Right. That's number two. Number three. Third one, which is very important, which I genuinely felt really helped me out. Whenever you do any household chores, right, we do it because we feel that, OK, that's our responsibility. We feel that, you know, it's a it's a burden. It's it's something which I have to do it because I have a no choice. What if you use this time for your better mental health? What do I mean by that? dance and sing when you're doing these activities whenever you're doing any boring kind of a task in your life whether it's ironing your clothes or uh, washing utensils or mopping the floor put the music on or have the music on which you love listening to and have fun with it you will look forward to those boredom tasks going forward right you will ensure that you know what i want to use this time because this Time will take you to look forward to the favorite music that you have listened to last time. I did this and my life changed completely. I just did it by accident some the other day and uh, that was few years ago. And from since then, I don't waste this time. I am actually getting my work done and plus I'm listening to my favorite music and even I'm dancing. I danced few steps and then it just goes on, you know, try it out. It's worth trying. Trust me when I say this. Number four, whatever you're doing in life, cut away from the world for a day or two. What do I mean by that? Digital detox. Get away completely from all the negative news, everything happening around the world. Trust me, the world will not shut down if you get away from your phone. Yeah, you can, of course, inform your family if something urgent comes up. But try and practice getting away from phone and being away from Insta Reels or 
uh, being away from all the negative news that you're watching and tracking in your mob mobile and anything that you're tracking across the world as to what's happening this is only spreading negative news it's not going to help you out in any way but what will happen through this exercise is you will save a lot of energy a lot of energy to do a lot more in your life you will feel that you still have a lot of time left out in your bandwidth because everything that you're spending on you know social media you will utilize that time to do something different right and the fifth one that i wanted to talk about is related to the fourth one when you start saving a lot of time what you can do with that time is experiment new things in life i'm sure every human being has this wish or a wishful thinking of learning something doing something creating something or practicing their hobby or doing something which they stopped doing for a while try doing that and give that reason for you to be happy reason for you to feel looking forward to we don't do that we just get so busy with our task for the day for all the responsibilities around us we just keep doing that nothing happens after that right very importantly that you take out that time for yourself correct otherwise what will happen time will pass on years will go off you will still be there where you are you will not evolve as a person this is my personal experience right fifth one at least once a week try having a, a ritual of having a bath which is not a normal one what do i mean maybe add a component of a salt uh, in in your shower be conscious about what you're doing right uh, feel the fact that you know it's 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 you're getting rid of all the negativity we today we don't even realize whether we are consciously taking bath or we are just doing because it's part of our task list today don't do that this is not something that's going to help you out in the long run if you're eating food today without proper conscious or awareness you're you're having your you're brushing your teeth you're taking shower everything is happening in autopilot mode start becoming aware of what you're doing with yourself especially taking shower add a, a a component of epsom salt not that i'm sponsored by them add a component of epsom salt once in a week if you can't do it daily and you will eventually feel that you are away from negativity you know there is so much better things happening in your life you will feel very light and you will start seeing more productivity on that particular day you'll suddenly become very blank blank about what is not working out in your life do that number 6 focus on your strengths what do i mean by that focus on your strengths as in every human being on this planet earth has an area which they are not good at but we as human beings are trained are conditioned are taught to focus only on what we are not good at why not delegate what you are not good at and focus on what you are extremely good at and make money out of it create a skill out of it and have fun with it we don't do that we often go back and just focus on what we are not good at we crib about it we talk about it we feel guilty about it and we label ourselves you don't have to do that right seventh one rest well what do i mean by that rest well all i mean is when you are tired listen to your body we don't do that today we just keep dragging ourselves to all the work possible and then we fall sick and create all the time for ourselves right take a nap when required we don't do that again only when we are exhausted only when we are tired the body gives up completely we just do then don't do that to yourself not worth it right very importantly rest as much as you can if you're falling sick it's only because you never give time to health and the and you know the universe is creating that time for yourself so that you focus on your mental health or your your overall health very important again we don't do that right eighth one when you are feeling bad about anything 
or you're feeling that you are hurt or you feel somebody didn't behave with you well raise your hand speak up for yourself and say this is not done of course i'm not asking you to fight for you know um for what what happened to you i mean of course you have to take a a, a call between what is it that you want to raise your hand for and and you know stand for yourself but when you're not feeling okay about something and somebody is doing extremely wrong with you why are you allowing this to yourself you often do this wantedly or intentionally or unintentionally why why can't we raise our hand and say this is not done i am not okay with it you know everything that you go through in your life in your mental body is all a culmination of the suppressed emotions you're holding within you which translates into different kind of diseases in different forms and shapes on your body and it starts reflecting why are you not speaking up for yourself this is something we don't do at all right we don't do this at all the other last thing that i want to say is no matter how small or how big you achieve things in life celebrate the moment celebrate you celebrate what you are celebrate what you have done celebrate every small to the biggest milestone in life because only you can celebrate yourself nobody is going to come and do that for you what you have to do for yourself what you have to stand up for yourself nobody else is going to come and do this to you don't ever expect that others don't appreciate me others are not appreciating because you don't appreciate yourself your own efforts not worth it start appreciating yourself every milestone i'm not saying that go have a party when you don't have money no have your favorite coffee or favorite tea or favorite chocolate or favorite cake whatever you like just do that go easy on yourself the world is anyways beating you why do you want to beat yourself right when you start giving this signal to the mind that you are celebrating every moment of accomplishment it will eventually become part of the habit and you will look forward to such instances in life you want to take up more such challenges new task in life because you know you're going to reward yourself eventually do that because i cannot emphasize beyond this i have personally tried this and every time i i i check the box for something that i've achieved i go celebrate myself and i trust me i look forward to many more such task in life with that thank you so much for listening me out patiently today Love you loads bye bye